What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to show you how to set up a DMX controller to your stage panel 864 lights. Now like I mentioned earlier, we can set up a DMX controller to our lights for even more control. So to set the controller to our lights, we're going to start with one DMX cable. I'm going to take the male end and plug it into the DMX out on the controller. Then I'm going to take the other end and plug it into the DMX in port on my first light. So now to link up multiple lights together, I'm going to take another DMX cable. I'm going to take the male end and plug it into the DMX out on my first light. Then I'm going to take the other end and plug it into the DMX in on my next light. And if I wanted to have even more lights set up, I'm just going to repeat this process. So next we're going to want to set the DMX address on both lights so that they know to interact with the controller. So to do that, I'm going to go into the A settings on each light and use the up and down buttons to set them to the same DMX address. For today, we're going to use A001. You can also press enter to have your lights remember this setting. Next, we're going to want to set the DMX channel for each light, which will essentially let the DMX controller know how many faders we can use for our setup. So we can either set it to 4 channel mode, 11 channel mode, 32 channel mode, or 39 channel mode. Using any of these modes is completely dependent on your needs or how much control you want to have over your lights. So if you want to have the basic controls of red, green, and blue along with the strobe bar, you can set the DMX channel to 4 channel mode, or if you wanted to take it a step further, you can set it to 11 channel mode, or you can control the colors and the other presets available on your lights. You can always refer to the manual to see which mode does what, and what each fader and value will do for your lights. For today's demo, we're going to set the lights to the 11 channel mode. Again, you can press enter to have your light remember this setting. So next on our DMX controller, we're going to want to activate scanner 1, and from here we can go through the different faders and see what they do. Fader 1 acts as our mass fader which will control the overall brightness of the lights. Fader 2 activates the strobe for the LEDs. So for example, I have a red LED coming through and if I raise fader 2, you'll start to see the strobe coming through. Now fader 3 allows us to adjust the 3 to 1 mode where we have a bunch of different functions that we can use. Each function is activated through different values or where you set your fader, and you can always tell what value you're setting your fader to by looking at the display on your DMX controller. You can always refer to the manual to see which values activate which functions in the 3 to 1 mode. So for example, values 3 to 5 will activate the red LEDs, and the more you raise the fader, you'll see all the different functions coming through. You can also refer to the manual to see which values activate which preset. Now fader 4 controls the speed of some of these sequences, so if I raise that in this sequence, you'll then start to see it go faster. With faders 5, 6, and 7, you can control the intensity of the red, green, and blue background LEDs. So you can have a sequence with one color going on and set the background to a different color. So for example, if I raise fader 5 during this sequence, you'll see the red coming through, and then for fader 6, the green lights, and fader 7, the blue lights. And we can even set these faders to different values for a fully customized color. So I can put in a little bit of red, a lot of green, and maybe a little bit of blue. Now with fader 9, we can control what mode we have the strobe bar set to. For example, we have it set to value 75, where we have a little strip going across. And you can use fader 8 to control the strobing of the strobe bar, and fader 10 to control the speed of the sequence. And lastly, we have fader 11 that controls the overall brightness of the strobe bar. And remember, you can use fader 1 to control the overall brightness in whatever mode or color you have it set to. So you can have a sequence like this set up, turn fader 1 down, and whenever you're ready to get the lights back on, just raise fader 1, and you'll have the same sequence. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up a DMX controller to your stage panel 864 lights. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.